few weeks ago, I took Apple's MagSafe battery pack to Disney World. This video is gonna be chock full of everything MagSafe battery pack. Be sure to stick to the end because I'll talk about why I think it performed the way it did and what I could have done differently to make it perform better. Let's go ahead and get started. It failed miserably. Like we're talking, this thing just was awful. And you're, you know, you go to Disney, you're gonna want to have your phone. Right now, especially, like most of the food ordering is done through the phone. You're also gonna wanna take pictures and videos and all sorts of stuff. Your phone is heavily used at Disney World. So what did I do? I waited to put my MagSafe battery pack on because I didn't wanna use it in the beginning. I didn't wanna have that big bulky thing until I actually needed it which is the use case most people are gonna wanna do. I got down below 30% and I, you know, I was in low power mode at that time. I had all my settings set right, popped on the battery pack and just kept going. I put it back in my pocket. I'd pull it out every once in a while. At this time, I wasn't even really doing videos. I mean, I was scrolling through stuff, checking emails, all that kind of stuff while waiting in line. You know, you, you gotta pass the time somehow. It was, it was very minute usage. It wasn't anything heavy. Nothing that I would think would cause any kind of issues. But here's the problem. Like I said, I think it was about 27% when I popped this thing on. My battery didn't go up. It went down. Like the next time, like I kept looking and I check it when I'm checking whatever I'm checking. And I'm like, now I'm at 25. Now I'm at 24. I got all the way down to like 16 with the MagSafe battery pack on with light usage. I probably did like a little bit of video on a ride, but it was nothing major, like less than two minutes of video during this time. And it was just dropping and dropping. Why? Why would this happen? Like, how could a battery pack not power your phone? Cause I have the 12 mini. Like my, my phone has a very small battery in it to begin with. And it just wasn't charging my phone. I mean, this is the one place you need battery life. Like, because we were there all day long. Like, I'm talking all day. So I ended up having to just put it in my pocket, not touch it, to just allow it to charge up. And I, luckily, I have this camera right here, which is the Sony ZV-1. I brought that with me because I thought, we're really gonna try this and I'm not sure how it's gonna work. I wanna back up just in case. So I started using it for pictures and videos and all that kind of stuff which worked great. Like, I love this camera. It is awesome. Eventually it did start catching up and I do have a couple screenshots that I'll throw up here right now of just kind of how it started trickling up and also how the MagSafe battery started just ticking down as it's actually charging the device. I will say one thing, as it was going from the 30% to the 16% of battery life on my phone, the MagSafe battery did not use much power. So something was going on to where it wasn't even attempting to charge it for the most part. I mean, it did lose some, so it was attempting, but it wasn't attempting that badly. With the MagSafe battery, what I've kind of saw people talking about on YouTube, other YouTubers talking, is you get three watts of power from the MagSafe battery which is worse than just plugging it in. Like I would have been better off bringing a battery pack with a lightning cable, plugging it in. I would have got five watts. I would have been way better off in this case. But you know, MagSafe does have benefits of the portability, being able to pop it on, pop it off, all that kind of stuff. So there is some plus sides to the MagSafe, but Apple, no, this was not acceptable at all. Like it, it just totally failed me. Like I could not use my phone at Disney World because I was worried, like I wanted to make sure I had it throughout the day and I just couldn't use it because it wasn't gonna keep up. It was gonna die on me if I did keep using it. I honestly believe like during this time I was getting that three watts of charging and why does Apple do this? 
Like it's part of some firmware in there or something that says limit the power. Wireless charging is just inefficient. I mean, it just is. It's not as efficient as just plugging it in, hard connection, all that kind of stuff. It's not. And I think Apple is trying to combat that and make the battery pack as efficient as possible to not waste any power. I mean, I honestly cannot recommend this product. I actually returned mine when I got back from the trip because I would never, like Apple could fix it. Like they could do a firmware update to this battery pack. You probably have to plug it in and then plug it into your phone or something, some random thing's gotta happen for that firmware to be updated, but they could fix it. I, I believe they could and they would. And I was also running the beta, but I've, I've talked to others and they've seen the same experience that I have without running the beta. So I don't believe the beta was affected. I mean, it probably affected my battery life on my phone, but I don't think it affected the charging power of the MagSafe battery. I'm guessing heat was a factor in all this as well. So let me throw that out there. It was, it was pretty hot, but it wasn't awful. Like for Disney, it wasn't that bad. It was one of the coolest days of that week in Florida. So I think it was probably mid to high 80s. So, and heat is a huge factor on charging, on battery life, all that kind of stuff. Heat can cause issues and you know, okay. But still, let's be honest. My phone didn't feel hot. I didn't get any kind of heat warnings. I think I used it as most people would. I think Apple expects people to just pop it on in the very beginning of the day and just let the MagSafe battery deplete pretty much as it is, you know, as, at first. I didn't want to do that because I want to be able to keep track of my phone battery and prioritize it over all things. I wanted to make sure that I was going to get through an entire day rather than allowing the MagSafe battery pack to deplete first and then not having a charger at the end of the day if I really did need one. But I think Apple, the way they see it is just how, because that's how they did their cases. Once you put it in the case, you're just supposed to always just have it in the case for the whole day. It prioritizes everything. And I think they're just using that same firmware smart technology to, to do this MagSafe battery pack. And they need to rework that because it just doesn't work. <laughs> and like I said, I cannot recommend this product. I just can't. It doesn't work well. It it costs way too much. You can buy cheaper ones out there that work better. Like the one I got that I use all the time, it cost me like 36 bucks or something like that. It may even be cheaper on Amazon. I'll put a link down below to it. And it works great. Like, I mean, it's probably not as efficient, but it's got a bigger battery in there so it can lose some and be okay. It's also like twice as thick as the MagSafe, so it does have that going against it, but it works the way I want to use it and the way I think other people will end up using theirs as well, as you can just pop it on when you absolutely need it and then take it off when you're done, rather than popping it on in the beginning of the day, which is what I really do think Apple wants users to do. I do believe Apple will fix it. I think they will improve things and it will get better in the end. But right now it's just not worth it and you cannot buy a product for what it might be in the future. You gotta buy it for what it is right now and what it is right now is a hundred dollars that can't keep your phone charged. That's my two cents. I did do a review on the Anchor. I wasn't a big fan of that, but if you wanna watch that review, just click up here. And then also I did a review on the third party one that I do recommend. Click up here for that one. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. God bless.